Guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your Dogecoin update. Do you see that little dog right there? That's totally new. Uh, this is your daily Dogecoin update. We made a video yesterday talking about kind of what's happening. So I want to give you guys an update. Before I get into Dogecoin, all I ask guys is you drop a like, subscribe. If you comment, if you like, it actually helps the algorithm for YouTube to send you more Dogecoin related videos. So if you're really bullish on Dogecoin and you want to see what other people on YouTube are talking about it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, before we do that, I do want to let you guys know that recently, as of 21 hours ago, I talked about this stock called Iron. Okay, this is a Bitcoin miner. And I did some studies for you all, uh, really for Patreon members. And I said, if you like Bitcoin miners, this could be a buy here at 895. Uh, we talk about the MACD and we look at what history has done before. The average return was over 200% when the MACD crosses and the MACD just crossed last week. Well, Iron now is up at $9.57. So if you would have taken that buy, you would already be up 8% in less than 24 hours. So guys, if you want to start winning, you can make a lot more money with the stocks and cryptos that we talk about outside of YouTube. Make sure you invest in yourself. Check out the links out down below. Join the Patreon. We're looking forward to seeing you in there. Now, looking at Dogecoin, let's make this screen a little bigger. Actually, I want to look at the monthly time frame because this is something I did not show you guys. And I did show the Discord yesterday. So this is very, very important because we know that the monthly will also tell us kind of where it's heading months out. And also know that after elections, Bitcoin tends to rally for minimum four months, all the way I've seen for some cycles up to about a year. So four to 12 months, let's just say four to 10 months to be safe, Bitcoin rallies. What happens to Dogecoin when Bitcoin rallies? Dogecoin follows Bitcoin perfectly. So when Bitcoin rallies, Dogecoin is going to rally. Okay. Of course, this is just my own opinion. This is not financial advice. I'm just sharing the charts with you all. You have to make your own decision at the end of the day. So if you can look at this chart right now, let's first dive into the stochastic. This is very important. This is happening as we speak, guys. This is probably one of the most important videos I've made. Okay. This blue line is crossing the red line. The stochastic is crossing over like it has before. You see when this stochastic finally crossed. So a week before the cross, October 1st, 2023. Okay. You see here, we had a cross in between these two weeks in between these two candles. If you would have bought right before the cross or even right after the cross, you would have bought either at, let's say, seven cents or you would have bought at eight and a half, nine cents, let's say. Well, at that point, we for sure had a cross, okay? We also had the MACD bounce off this red line. Now, wait, I'm getting to my point. This is very important, guys, okay? What happened next? After this cross and after the MACD also pretty much touched right here, but then widened a little bit and the white line stayed above the red, Dogecoin went on a run from seven cents all the way to 23 cents almost 23 cents. Okay. So that's why the stochastic is very important. And then if we look at what happened on a monthly time frame, you could see that it reached high points here. And when the blue line starts to curl over to the red line, it's time to sell. Okay. And you kind of have to catch it before it happens or else you'll be too late. So there's other indicators that we use, but this is why monthly is very important. Well, what has happened as of like this month, guys, and the month ends very soon. So I hope you're ready for Dogecoin. We are crossing currently, okay? This is a very good sign. Let me move my mouse. Crossing, very good sign, okay? The RSI also is in an uptrend. And now let's look at the MACD. What has the MACD done? Well, the MACD has actually bounced off the red line. Let me zoom in even more for you, okay? You can see right here, we bounce in this area and we're touching it. If this white line goes the opposite way up and the red line stays below it, you better be ready. Okay. Cause we already know what's coming. We've seen what's happened before. So that's what I wanted to show you in today's video for Dogecoin. Um, there's something else that we need to talk about real quick. Cause I'm expecting a very bullish move 
like this for Dogecoin. Um, I've given you my price targets. I think a safe bet would be about 50 cents, but I do think this could go much higher depending on the weekly stochastic and RSI and where the MACD is at. But you can see that the monthly RSI minimum, even on these little pumps right here, I'm not even talking about this, minimum has gotten over 80, over 85, gone to 87 before. This one got to 92, okay, on this big candle right here. It climbed even more and it got to 97, okay? And that was that big peak all the way up to 75 cents, okay? But you can also see some months after that, well, this one actually, we have wick. So this is great times to start to get out. When the RSI starts to climb and get very overbought, it's a good time to take profit, okay? I hope this is making sense. I wanna make this as clear as possible for you guys. The reason I really started on YouTube because I used to watch YouTube videos about crypto and stocks years ago, like back in 2016, 2017, 2018. And then I got very serious about looking at charts, studying them, knowing when to buy and sell. Um, and then I got on YouTube about two years ago, actually, November of 2022. I believe I actually started on YouTube. I made my first YouTube video. And then I launched the Patreon in like December of 2022. And we've grown that Patreon now in a matter of two years to almost over 500 members, which I'm very grateful for. Absolutely amazing. But the reason I got on YouTube was to help people like myself that used to watch all these videos get really fired up, but not really understand when to buy and when to sell. So hopefully this is helping you guys. I want to dumb it down for you and keep it very simple. We talk a lot about the 21 EMA also, but right now Dogecoin is looking very solid to me. Okay, we're above the 21 EMA on a monthly time frame. This is crossing right now. This MACD is bouncing. There's not much more to say, guys. Have more of a long-term vision for Dogecoin. And I definitely think our next target is around 30 to 32 cents. Okay, and that's where I'll be holding um, until, like I'm not selling anything here, regardless what happens. The other thing you can start to look at is Keltner line. So you can see how the monthly time frame gets very close to here. If we pull up a weekly real quick, let's check this out. So we can see that the MACD has actually crossed on a week, which is bullish. Every time this happens, bullish, right? The stochastic is moving up, which is good. This does not mean this is going to curl over. This actually is a very good sign that momentum is picking up. And this is a bullish indicator. Now, once it starts to cross and touch like this and curl down, yeah, it's time to get out. Every time this happens, Dogecoin crashes for at least a week to two weeks before recovering. Or no, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not a week, two weeks, for several months, right? Like this has been several months. This top came in in March of 2024. Every candle is a week. And now here we are in October 2024. So again, you got to understand how all this works. We're, we're covering all this in the Discord. Check the links out down below. But guys, Dogecoin looks solid. Just want to make your daily update video. Let me know if you got any value. Leave a comment. Drop a like. Would truly appreciate that. If we can get this over 300 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And we'll absolutely see you on the next one.